Yeah, we're talking about health and wellness today on The Journey. Uh, why is this so hard? So Neely, you wanna talk about what just happened over there? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, so let's talk about some actual <laughs> things you can implement throughout your day to make the workplace more healthy, right? Let's do it. So creating a healthy workplace isn't just good for you and your employees. Right. It also could be good for your bottom line, right? Which is always great. Yeah. It helps increase productivity. So by doing little things such as making small changes like standing instead of sitting down, right? Yeah. Uh, I know at, at GoDaddy, we have those little treadmill desks mm -hmm. so we can work and walk at the same time and just really get that juices flowing. Yeah, fit That's, fam. Yeah, fit fam, that GD fit life. Uh, but little things like that to really promote not sitting all day. Because we all know sitting is just bad for our backs. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently stretching is bad for my back. But, <laughs> but other something... than that, stretching is typically good for you. Right, do something active or just get your, your people moving just one little step at a time. Yeah. Another small change you can make is to turn those, you know, email and online conversations into a one on one personal interaction. Yeah. And as Abe Lincoln once told me, if you're on Slack, you're slacking. Ooh, don't want to be slacking. And speaking of slacking, you know, get up, move around, try mm -hmm. taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Yeah, that's why I kind of like wearing my Fitbit everywhere because it tracks how many stairs I hit or how many steps I hit to make sure that I'm constantly moving. Uh, and I probably don't take the stairs as much as I should. For me, whenever I need a break, like I'll just get out and take a walk around outside the building. Yeah. It's a great way to clear your head, get some of that nature, right? So the next way you can help you and your employees is to just create a nutritious environment there at work. What does that look like? For me, it's having a water bottle always by your desk, right? Those recyclable water bottles, just having water there, having healthy snacks, right? Mm -hmm. if, if there's unhealthy food there, I'm going to eat it. Yeah, and Let's then we end real. up like not feeling good the rest of the day, yeah. going to what I call a food coma. And you really just don't want to do anything. It happens. Doesn't do that if I'm eating some healthy right. snacks, like apples, bananas, maybe, maybe a smoothie. Yeah. And if you're able to, bring in a nutritionist. I mean, mm -hmm. we're not all experts, but they are, so they can at least teach your employees, teach you, you know, what exactly to do. Your health and wellness journey, it doesn't have to stop whenever you clock out of the office. Right. You could plan a fun 5K for your employees, a kickball game. Those are great ways to stay active and also team building, right? Yeah, and as Abe Lincoln once told me, kickball is the way to your soul. You have a lot of Abe Lincoln quotes. <laughs> but even if you implement all these things and you you know have healthy snacks there, you know it's gonna come down to whether or not the employees mm -hmm. have that you know incentive and want to be active and healthy. Yeah, and it really comes down to asking them which healthy snacks they like mm -hmm. or what they prefer. Right. The more that they're involved, mm -hmm. the, the better they are going to be to really sticking with that plan. So what are some ways that you like to stay active and healthy in the workplace? Let us know in the comments below. While you're there, go ahead, as always, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you get these episodes first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.